So you're moving to Warrensburg or you're PCSing to Whiteman Air Force Base and you're bored on the weekends, what are you gonna do? We can help you with that. Today, we are gonna talk about more cool museums. Stay tuned. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe right down below because I make a new video every single week and you're gonna wanna get notified. And my contact information is right down there. So if you're coming here, if you need some people to help you find the best neighborhood or tell you where the best shoe store is, do not hesitate to reach out and call this number. We love talking to people. Today, we have eight more cool museums. That last video, people really liked it. Uh, <laughs> they definitely went to the places and then they sent me messages and comments about uh, if they liked the museum, if they didn't like the museum. And honestly, there are so many kind of weird, cool museums in Missouri. I figure why not do another video? And museums are awesome. Museums. You can never go wrong with yeah. like, if you're bored, go to a museum. Yeah, exactly. And there's some really cool ones. So in no particular order, because these are all different and unique and some people may love them and some people may hate them, we're going to talk about eight more cool museums in Missouri. Here we go. So the first museum that we're gonna talk about is actually one that I really wanna drag my husband and kids to. The kids are gonna love it, the husband's. I'm, I'm so curious. <laughs> right now what it could be <laughs> it is the pigs aloft museum it is in let me check owensville missouri pigs aloft like a pig fly like yeah like the pigs okay, like it's a cute. play on words like yeah. pig, when pigs fly so it is the second largest collection of pig stuff in the united states but the first one isn't a museum it's just some person hoarding all the pig things and not sharing them with the world <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. Where is the first largest? So the first largest collection is not a museum. It's no, just it's a, a pig private. It's, <laughs> it's private ownership. Wow. I, I want to go there. I know. Someone uh, give us those details. I know. Um, so yeah. So this it's a museum, but it's also an interact. It's a farm. It's a working farm, oh, and it's a rescue farm. So you can go Aww. there, like rescue pigs. Yeah, like rescue pigs, rescue farm animals. Oh, and there's they other have, animals, like ducks and donkeys and horses and chickens. Fun. And so you can um, actually go there, and it's like a giant petting zoo. And then you can also look at pig stuff. <laughs> I kind of want to go. I really want to go. It looks fun. But I'm just stuck on this other person hoarding <laughs> all the pig stuff. Just the pig hoarder. Like, how large is their house? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I didn't do research on the pig hoarder. I feel like I, we need another video for the pig hoarder. I literally didn't think about it until you literally said at that moment. Wow. So, yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy, but. Um, but back to this museum. Back to this I'm museum. Sure it is wonderful. Yes, it looks really cool. It was opened in 2010. Pigs. It was basically, yeah, a woman who just really loves animals, specifically mm -hmm. pigs. And so people started, they, she opened like a rescue farm and then people started giving her pig stuff because she loved pigs so much. And then it just turned into this giant thing. So who's the actor that had the pig? George Clooney. George Clooney. Yeah, I always thought that story yeah. was cute. I once kind of dated someone in college who had a pig. Oh really? Yeah, and I, I literally, it's sad to was say, I, I went on a couple of dates with this person so I, because I wanted to hang out with the pig. I want to kiss a pig on the mouth. Oh, that sounds kind of gross, but okay. I know, I just feel I'll like. I'll go with it. I feel like it would be so cute. It would be cute. That would be cute. So, if you love pigs, if you love farm animals, check out Pigs Aloft Museum in Owensville, Missouri. And tell us how it is, because I desperately want to. Yeah, I kind of want to know if it's worth going to. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. We are going to talk about number two, and I didn't even write notes on this because we don't really need to. It's the Kemper Museum of Contemporary Art Ooh. in Kansas City. Love it. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I went to a wedding there once. They do weddings It was there? so cool. Oh, that's really It was cool. a really long time ago. Ah. Because I'm old. You are old. But, but I'm old too. But I wore a really cute dress because it was the Kemper. Yeah. It was a great experience. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a beautiful museum and you never know what you're going to get there. There's so many different unique and interesting you know, what are they called? It's contemporary displays. art. Oh. 
displays. No, no, like different, not displays. <laughs> like art installations? Yes, art installations. Displays. They have some cool like sign outside, cardboard cutout, the Eva liked ones. She's never been in a museum, so don't worry about it. Oh. She's just trying to sound cultured right now. You got a great poster. I got a good poster. In the gift shop. Really liked it. <laughs> I can't even drink my coffee. Displays. You're making me laugh too hard. Yes, the Kipper is a wonderful collection of displays. <laughs> They're probably going to hate me for saying that. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's a cool, cool museum. So I'm torn on contemporary art. Some stuff I really love, some stuff I just think it's ridiculous and it's stupid. Like I did read this one article where someone left a banana peel in the middle of a floor at a contemporary art museum and then came back two hours later and someone put like a plastic box around it, like a clear yeah. glass box and it was now <laughs> it was now an installation. See, I love that because I think it's awesome. And there's a whole, but see, there's a difference between mm -hmm. stuff like that there's there's probably a story to it. Yeah, there's something true. involved with it. If nothing else, the artist is just making a joke about the fact that you could make a piece of trash on the ground art, and that's, that's true. still making a statement. That's true. That's true. You are you are much more cultured than I in the art <laughs> world. This one went to school for fine art. I have a degree. She has a degree. Yeah. But if you want to go to a really cool museum, uh, check out the Kemper. And right next door is the, the other awesome art museum in Kansas City, and it's free. The you, Nelson. The Atkins. Nelson Atkins. Yeah, you basically just yeah. donate whatever you think that your ticket should amount they to. They're both that day. amazing, wonderful museums. We're mm -hmm. actually so lucky in Missouri to have really wonderful art museums. Yeah, like just insane collections, gorgeous museums, mm -hmm. and beautiful just landscaping around it even. Yeah, I like had, the Nelson is I just no so idea. pretty There's to walk around. I had no idea. There's a giant um, mini golf outside the Nelson and it's awesome and it's yeah. all around these big gorgeous art installations. Oh, she found a word, guys. <laughs> but it's just, there's Displays. so many outside activities, like outside of yeah. the art museum. So it's just a really cool inclusive day and you can have like picnic on the lawn yeah. and they show movies and do yoga, it's fun. Yeah, tons, there's so yeah. much going on there. Yeah, so if you want to go have a really cool day, check out the Kemper and the Nelson Atkins. Yeah. Moving on to Yay. number three, we are talking about the National Cookie Cutter Museum in Joplin, Missouri. Also known as my garage. <laughs> you, uh, you do have a lot of cookie cutters. I have a lot you of have cookie a cutters. Lot, a ridiculous amount. Like a no, really ridiculous amount. No one needs that many cookie cutters mm. unless you're a museum. Arguable. <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to chop the pig. Where corner. are my cookies then? I don't actually ever make cookies. I don't have an oven, guys. That's, that's right, you don't have an I oven. I don't have an oven. So why do you have cookie cutters then? Because I like them. <laughs> I used to have an oven. Oh, that's right. When I use them for crafts. My oh, kids use yeah. them for all kinds of crafts, and they're super fun for crafts. Yeah, that means, you know, Play-Doh. We do a lot of crafts. Yeah. We're crafty family. We're a crafty family. But, um, so this is a really kind of cool museum, if you like cookie cutters, and it was started by five grandmas. Cute. I'm not even joking. I love and them. I know, and they basically love making cookies, love cookie cutters, and they just, people started giving, I feel like a lot of these museums start because people just start giving people things. Like, yeah. remember how we used to give mom rooster things like yeah. her entire life and she doesn't even like roosters? Turns out she doesn't even like roosters. <laughs> we just thought she did for some reason, so every time we saw a rooster thing, we'd we, buy it for yeah. her. Well, and then she admitted one day that she actually can't stand them. <laughs> We're like, cool, because we buy you like a like, thousand Whole roosters. life is a lie. Yeah, like, but yeah, like this is basically uh, friends got together, made cookies, and people started giving them tons of cookie cutters, and they started a museum. Cute. I know. So yeah, you can go there. You can look at cookie cutters from all different um, types and styles and ages. So like ones like way back in the day. And yeah, kind of an interesting day. I like it. Yeah. Cookie I'd cutters. go there. And Joplin. There's cool stuff in Joplin, so. Yeah, Joplin's awesome. Mm -hmm. Moving on to number four. Uh, now this one is just, this museum I think is only for a certain group of people with exact interests in this exact, these exact things. Uh, it is the world's largest small electrical appliance museum in Diamond, Missouri. Cool. <laughs> Listen, he has over 125 fans and countless toasters. Wow. Uh, his hot dog cooking collection is kind of neat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this was started. I, I will say that like, what a claim to fame. 
Yeah. Being like, my hot dog cooking collection is super neat. It's, it's like, wow, that is a Tinder profile waiting to happen. <laughs> the largest in the United States. Yeah. Um, so Killing it. this was started by a dude named Richard over 35 years ago, Richard Larison, and he just loves small electrical appliances. And he just started. I wonder if he like is into fixing them. You know, he is. Like, that'd be cool. That's that's a yeah. pretty. That's a very intelligent hobby. So I'm sure yeah. it's really interesting actually like taking old part, things mm -hmm. apart like that and seeing how they work. And then like trying to make them work again. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of how he started. He like, you know, seeing if he could make these things work again. Mm -hmm. And then it just continued and continued and continued. And then suddenly he needed a museum because it outgrew his house. Oh. I think a lot of these museums start like that where like <laughs> someone just has a hobby interest and mm -hmm. then they just start amassing things from it. And then it's like, oh wow, maybe I should start a museum. Cause then they're monetizing their hobby. Yeah, I get it. I like it. And they don't sound crazy if they own like 60 toasters. No, we're not saying he's crazy. No. No one's saying he's crazy. But if you have a museum, I'm sure he's like it's like, oh, it's not just someone with 60 toasters. Yes. It's, I need this for my museum display. Right. And then you can like go on eBay and find really cool toasters yes. and be like, this is important for science. That's probably in um, that hoarder house that I did recently on South Street. We found 28 toasters. So maybe he was just a small client of Fishtianato. He was preparing for his museum. <laughs> But anyway, so maybe keep it cleaner. Yeah, a little cleaner. If you're, if uh, if, if you you're like collecting, if you like small appliances, check out the world's largest small electrical appliance museum in Diamond, Missouri. I mean, it's gonna be a cool trip, and he's usually there, so you can meet him, and he'll tell you about like his favorite pieces. Oh, so that's, that's fun. I love meeting the owners of the I museum. I know, me too. Like that passion that they yeah. have is really, it's yeah. cool. So. It's awesome. There you go. Moving on. Next up, we are talking about one of our closer museums again up in Kansas City. It is the Money Museum. Make it rain. Money. So I did not actually, <laughs> I didn't know this museum existed, but it's a free museum. It's run by the Federal Reserve. And you can go in and watch, like they print money. There's all these big displays. I'm like, this is what a billion dollars looks like. This is what a million dollars looks like. And like all different types of money, huh? cool. how it's printed. I do want to know what a billion dollars looks like. I mean, I kind of want to go just to yeah. know what that looks like. I just want to experience how, I feel like it would be smaller than I expected yeah. to be in my head. I don't know. I watch those grain of rice videos where they're like, this is a million dollars. And it's like this teeny little pile of rice. And yeah. then they're like, and this is a billion dollars. And it's like this giant. So this is a really, I don't know. I think it could be just a cool way to kill a day. Like if yeah. you're down there, you had nothing to do. Be like, I want to go look at big stacks of money. And I guess they have like interactive you know, like robots and stuff, like right? robots and stuff. So yeah, it's cool. free. So it's not like you wasted money on a museum if you don't like it. It's a self guided experience. Experience. So if you like money, go to the money museum in Kansas city. You can see a billion dollars, billion dollars, or a million dollars money. Next, we are talking about, we're at number six already. Number six. Yeah. And it's, uh, we're gonna go down to St. Louis. It's the National Museum of Transportation in St. Louis. They have the largest <laughs> collection in the world of transportation vehicles. Trains, planes, and automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they have like um, the largest steam engine ever built down there, which Ooh, I that's think, cool. I'd like to see that. I think. Man, can you imagine us taking our boys down there, our kiddos? Oh my gosh, they would love They'd it. They'd go crazy. Oh my gosh, Griffin would just run around in circles going choo-choo for like yeah. a solid hour. <laughs> yeah. He loves some trains, man. Um, but yeah, they have like a different aircraft that was used in the invasion of Normandy. That's and cool. They have a milk wagon from back when milk wagons existed. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like a pretty, like a cool way to spend a day. I think kids would love it. I mean, yeah. my kids spent like, I feel like six months watching nothing but train videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That were literally just trains driving by. Like nothing even happened in the video. And they would just be like, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> that's like, uh, that's like my three year old. He watches, um, construction video like videos of like excavators digging yeah. and like putting do dirt in bulldozers and the dozers takes it off and then they come it's like the same thing yeah. for like an hour but he's just like transfixed wow <laughs> like it is amazing and then we have to sing the bulldozer song yeah and i'm sure if you call it the wrong piece of farm equipment oh my gosh you will if i shunned. if i call like a front end loader a tractor 
I am just, yep. woo, I get sent right out of the room. End of the world. <laughs> Worst mom ever. How dare you. <laughs> so if you're in St. Louis, if you like planes, trains, and automobiles, I would check out the National Transportation Museum. Museum. I said that really weird. But it's in St. Louis. Check it out. It's cool. I definitely bring my kids. Bring your kids. That one's a kid one. I don't think I'd bring my kids to like a money museum, but I think they would love yeah. that. Or the small electrical appliance oh museum. Oh my gosh, no. But definitely a transportation museum. They'd be yes. all about it. Yeah. Getting down to the why, we're at number seven. <laughs> and this is, it's a cool museum. It's the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Branson. I've been there. Yeah, I. We love Branson. I love this museum, but I also hate it. So I, I love, it. it's awesome. There's such cool displays and like the colors are great, but then like you have to walk through a couple of rooms that throw off your sense of equilibrium. Oh um, yeah, she has like, to do good mm -mm, with that. Mm -hmm. No, I literally, the one that- She's got vertigo. I do, the one that like it tilts and it spins. I had to like close my eyes and crawl through that room. Yeah. Like everyone was staring at me, but I was like, I cannot walk through. I tried and I literally fell on my butt and then I got a headache and I was like, mm -mm, nope. Nope. It's crawling like a crazy person. Well, if you don't have sensory <laughs> issues. If you don't have sensory issues. It's a super fun yeah. museum. It's very yeah. cool. Kids love it. Yeah, it's very interactive. Very interactive. Mm -hmm. Some parts are kind of scary. Yeah, there's a couple displays like human heads and stuff. Yeah. Like shrunken heads, which I'd probably just like walk the kids past and just kind of block their yeah. view. But don't make a big deal. Yeah, don't make a big deal of it. But there's really cool stuff in there. Yeah, Branson has so much fun stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, and that fun. museum changes its appearance. So depending upon what type of displays they have inside, they paint the entire outside. That's like nice. for Marvel, they did these really cool like bright reds I and greens. I didn't know that. And right now it's red for Transformers because they have a bunch of Transformers outside. That is so cool. Yeah, so depending on what stuff, because this is dedication. It is. That's a lot of work. There's a lot of work. And it's a huge place. Yeah, it's giant. It's very cool yeah. looking outside, but I didn't realize they did that. Yeah. That's awesome. And because uh, there's multiple Ripley's or Not museums mm -hmm. in the world, so they trade collections all the time. Oh. So just because you went there once doesn't mean that you yeah. have seen what's in there. And so depending upon what collection each museum has, they paint the outside of the building to match. That's cool. That That's cool? really good to know also mm -hmm. because like, Branson is such a place that you go to yeah, it's again an and again. It's, an ex it's like Las Vegas, but in Missouri. Yeah. And not as much naughtiness. Less sinners. <laughs> less, less sinners. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, you won't find the, the stuff in Vegas, but it's the experience is the It has a similar yeah, feel and there's experience. Lots to of it. shows and yeah. big spectacles. Mm, the spectacles. Aquarium. The aqua that aquarium, aquarium is amazing. So cool. oh we're not talking about the aquarium No, right no, we're talking but about Ripley's Believe. If you're there. If you go to Ripley's, you gotta go, go to, to the aquarium. aquarium. Yeah. So, no, Branson is awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I really want to go to the Dolly's um, Stampede. I know. I've never gone because it's so expensive, Let's but go. I really want to go. It's like Someone buy us tickets. It's like $150 per person. Okay. Even the kids. Worth it. Oh God, it's so worth it. Worth it, it for Dolly. Worth every penny. <laughs> Dolly, Dolly, if you see this, can you send us tickets? Because we have family. We love you. We love you. <laughs> anyway, check out Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Branson. Branson, always a great, always yeah. a great time. Love Very Branson. family friendly. Love and it's it. cold and what I was getting at is it's cold to know yeah. because it's such a place that you go back to yeah. regularly. Like you don't just go to Branson mm -hmm. once. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to know that when you go back, it'll be yeah. different different stuff to see. Yeah, yeah, which that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. So definitely Love that. check out Branson. Last but absolutely not least, also going down to St. Louis, we have Lackley's Wax Museum or Lackley's Landing wow. Wax Museum of St. Louis. Did you have to Google how to pronounce that? I, I did actually, <laughs> I really did. <laughs> I would have. So this is a, it's, so it's not like Madame Tussauds. It's not a professional wax museum, but it's a guy who loves wax museums. That sounds creepy. It's a little creepy, um, but it's cool. So like the upstairs is all like family friendly. Like just cool displays, all different sorts of stuff. I mean, Where are we going? listen, I don't like wax museums. They creep me out. They creep me out. I mean, they're scary anyways, but the fact that you're like, it's not professional. I'm like, that makes it scarier. <laughs> so there's a basement, there's a spooky basement. And oh, that's no. like the horror wax museum tour. So oh, you can go on a tour of like all the horror movies, but like in wax. And these aren't like, these are, some of them are like gruesome. Like, oh, wow. like zombies eating people and stuff. It's pretty scary. Um, 
So definitely, it's cool. I mean, if I was in St. Louis, I would go just to check it out because it looks cool from mm -hmm. the website. But I don't know if I'd go in the spooky basement. <laughs> I'd take it in the spooky basement. <laughs> like, that's, I watch those movies and that's how you get murdered and turn into wax. Like Paris Hilton in that one movie. Oh yeah, she got like stabbed in the foot. Yeah, and then she they made her into a wax person and that's why all the wax people look so realistic. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. They steal their souls. Yep. So if you want to get your soul stolen or you want to check out a really cool kind of creepy I really want to get I feel like I feel like you're belittling this wonderful achievement of these people have created of their wax museum no. just because you're a scaredy cat. <laughs> That's probably true. No, it's a cool museum. It says it has 250 life-size figures. From London, England, Germany, Hollywood, New York, Missouri, and Seattle, Washington. They've got movie stars, mm -hmm. musicians, mm -hmm. life of Christ. Chamber of Horrors. And a Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> so, if Delightful. you're in, if you're down in St. Louis, oh, there's a couple places to go. Torture animatronics. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but I would tell you after I go. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, check it out. Tell yeah. us how it is. Tell us if it's awesome yeah. or scary or something. I want to know how scary yeah. it is on a scale of like one to a thousand. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know before you get me in that museum. An exact number between one and one thousand <gasps> scary level. Tell us. That's all she wrote, Nina. That was fun. That was fun. So what, uh, out of all of these museums that we talked about, which ones do you want to go to? You can only go to two. Which one? If I have to pick two. Two. I am going to the Wax Museum for the Horror Basement. Absolutely. And probably Ripley is just because that means I get to go to Branson. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. If I got to pick three, mm -hmm. Pig Museum. Oh, that's my number yeah, three. Yeah. I think my number one is the Pig Museum. Oh, my I, God. I, yeah, I want to go. I want to go see the pigs. They're so cute. I want to go to the petting zoo and kiss a pig oh. on the mouth. I am not condoning that you kiss their pigs on the mouth. <laughs> they probably won't let you. <laughs> I probably frown on that. <laughs> uh, and then I probably, it's a toss up between Ripley's, cause Branson. Yeah. I mean, I just want to go to Branson. Yeah. And, I and Ripley's is fun. Ripley's is fun. And then the Transportation Museum, just because I would love to watch my kids just lose their minds uh, and the say yeah. train. 18 million train. times. Train! Every time a train goes through town and we're driving, I have to pull over and we have to sit and watch the train go by until it's gone. Every single time. I tell my kids that train is broken. Keep <laughs> Does that work? I don't know. I tell my kids all sorts of things and they believe me. I'm like, That's oh, we can't watch that train. I say that sometimes about YouTube. Like if like I don't want to sit there and find them their shows. I'm like, YouTube's broken today, guys. I turned YouTube off and we don't have it in our house anywhere oh, anymore that's... because I didn't like the little kids seeing scary stuff and things oh, on there. But so yeah. I've told them that, you, that YouTube just shut down. The company went bankrupt. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Well, I... Uh... <laughs> Which is great because we're literally making a YouTube video right now. <laughs> but my kids think YouTube went bankrupt. Uh, see, I put... Um, the YouTube kids app on the TV. So and, and then I set the and like then I set TV. the age limit so that they yeah. can only watch kid appropriate stuff. Our TVs are too old and we'll oh, take YouTube kids. Yeah, no, yeah. And you upgrade. Love them. You upgrade that. Upgrade. Well For now it's just gone bankrupt. So sad. Huh? <laughs> Well, I hope you guys liked our museum video. I hope I hope people out there in YouTube land, um, which is not bankrupt, yeah. go to some of these museums and tell us, are if they great? If you're six years old and you live in my house, it is bankrupt. <laughs> um, tell us what you think of these museums. Tell us, oh, if there's other museums that I just haven't found yet, send me a link to where they are and I would love to do a video on them or go visit. One of these days we should go visit all these Ooh, museums. I would yeah, let's do it. I'm road down. trip, road, road trip. trip. Don't forget to like and subscribe right down below. I make a new video every week. You're gonna wanna get notified. Also, there's a contact, next door agent's contact phone number. You Ooh. will talk to myself, you will talk to the wonderful Nina. And Hello. if y'all are coming here, if you have any questions, and they don't have to be real estate related, just give us a call. We do actually enjoy talking to people. It's yeah. not just something I say on these videos. I like to so, chat. Yeah, as soon as We I... might chat to you for too long and you're gonna be like, yeah. don't you have something better to do? Yeah. They're like, no. Yeah, we think, do, but we don't want to. I think we're weird. I'd rather chat with you. Send us a text, send us an email, send us a call. Talk to you soon. Bye.